In this short video, I'm gonna show you eight ways how we use Zapier to save time, automate our business, and that has helped us to grow our business from zero to one million a year. And I'm gonna show you actual things, practical things, which most people don't show, but I'm crazy, I have a good beard, so let's jump into it and let's show you. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nick. I have a company where we help coaches and consultants grow and scale, and we actually teach, build, and implement all of these things, which I'm gonna show you, okay? Let's jump back to the video right now. So here are the eight things I'm gonna show you what we do with Zapier. The first things first, we run ads to a landing page that looks like this. Uh, and we get opt-ins that look like this, okay? Uh, this opt-in information we send to our CRM, which looks like this. So here it looks. So here it looks like this. So every time we have a new lead, that information is just being created here in our CRM. You can see the client, uh, when it was created, like where did that person come from? And I actually have a lot of information like this particular, such as, which campaign, which placement, which ad set, which ad, and which funnel step did he sign up? Because we do split tests for our funnels. And when I say split tests, we, chat, we, we send all traffic to this link, but we have two pages like this. And then in our CRM, we actually know from which of these pages they signed up for, and then we can know which split test actually gets us customers rather than just leads. And this is exactly how our steps are created. So as you can see, every time a trigger, a new activity is created in Zapier, every time this is created, we have a spreadsheet row created. So we can have a list of master list right now. It's like, I think 40,000 plus leads, like all in one place. Then we create a person in Pipedrive. Then we create a deal in Pipedrive. And that's what you see here. So this is like a deal in Pipedrive. Uh, in our CRM, right? It, we use Pipedrive. You can use whatever that, whatever you like, but we use Pipedrive. And then our managers are jumping on these leads, calling them, reaching out, okay? A cool thing that I do as well in our team, we have a Slack, Slack uh, communication tool, which is really good. And we have a specific channel, which is Leads New. In this, in this channel, I, every day, every hour, you can see every minute sometimes, I get notifications of leads coming in so that I, as a owner or a CEO, I can look and have a pulse that everything's working, everything's fine, people signing up, it's great, like amazing. This is not created with Zapier, but this is created inside of Pipedrive. They have like, I will quickly show you, they have this like tools and apps, I think and they have this like app slack and then it's like, like an integration so every time a new deal is added send a notification from deal bot to my slack channel particularly this one let's test it let's click test and as you can see the test looks like this but the actual looks like way different as you can see above so it looks a little bit different okay second thing we do wire transfers we do stripe payments and i want to see are these payments being made and who does it, uh, how do I see it? And where do I see it? Like, so my closers also know like, hey, I close a deal. I know. For example, this is one of our payment links. For example, it looks like this. Uh, this is Thrivecart, which is like the front end of it. Actual payment gateway is Stripe. There's many more, but we right now use Stripe. So whenever uh, a customer buys here, we get a notification and the end result is that we have a, a channel a payments channel and every time a slack pay a, a, a payment from stripe so we have it it looks like this there's a notification like a customer paid this amount of money uh that payment's done if it's a, a wire transfer we also have it looks like this for example that it is a, a wire transfer the setup is a little bit different because you need to like like kind of see how it works and let me show you what's the setup so the stripe setup is very simple like a new payment in stripe send a channel notification and then it's like create a spreadsheet row we have a separate spreadsheet row of all of the payments so we can have it organized and see who was the closer who was the setter that's also really organized and really nice this is the setup for a stripe payment then if you have uh, payments in a bank like a physical uh, going to a wire transfer Typically your bank can have this option to send an email notification whenever you have a payment. And then what you need to do, you need to make a trigger 
to search in Gmail or whatever email you use that, hey, did this email particularly come with this subject line? If so, send this information to, uh, to Slack. That's how we do it for wire transfers as well. Next thing, whenever a meeting is booked, we get a notification. So we use OnceHub to schedule calls, as you can see here, so they can schedule calls. They fill out this information to book a call. Whenever they do so, and my team members do so, we again have a different channel, which is called Meetings Booked. And whenever we do, we get a meeting like that, we get notifications like this. So meeting booked from where, like organic meeting, English, and we have some information about the client, boom. And we have different sources from, from where these meetings can be booked so that at the end of the day, our operations person can go through them and put like, okay, how many did we get from email? How many did we get from call DM? How many did we get from paid ads? How many did we get from setter team who are calling those leads who are uh, signing up for our, our, our stuff? Uh, and then we know like data at the end of the day, how many from where at the end of the week and of the month. And we can know with certainty which channels are bringing us the most meetings and FYI clients as well. Next one, daily check up notification in Slack for team. This is only if you have a lot of people, it's like worth doing. And I mean a lot of maybe like four plus people doing calling setting, then it's important. Like, what is this? Let me explain, it's a little bit tricky. So throughout the day, we get this kind of notification from Jessica, which is like virtual AI. Uh, and it says, it's sorry, it's Latvian. It says like, this many people are not yet called, which have like, this guy has 30, 29 leads, this guy has 14, this guy has 12. And this is like an automatic thing that gets pushed so that our management team can know, okay, how many leads have we not yet called, not yet reached? And they can know like how many activities uh, these pieces, and this is like, how many activities this each person need to do for today uh, specifically. And like what it does, it helps us to kind of have a pulse. Like how what, are we reaching out to the new people who are signing up? Are we on top of the things or someone needs help? It's like a daily thing that we immediately see the situation. We don't need to go check in uh, pipe drive, the CRM, we don't need to do it. We immediately see it. How to set it up. It's a different story. Uh, how do we set it up? So, so we have a trigger that Zapier is gonna run every no, like daily a trigger, like, like, like on specific day, times, like specific times. We do it like I think three times a day. And whenever time this trigger goes, but at that specific time, for this case, like at ten, <clears throat> we have a system where there's like a web thing for pipe drive that you can see like online these dashboards and it just makes a screenshot. And it makes a screenshot with this kind of like thing, which is create image from URL in uh, HTML or CSS. And it makes a screenshot and then we send that screenshot to a specific channel with like some text and the image. And then that image is created like this. So this is how we do it. I didn't set this up, but this is how we do it in our team. Next one, this is a really good one. Client meeting summary. So. At the end of the day, you might be like, your closers had like 10, 20, 30 meetings. You're like, what happened? You need to ask them. This is bullshit. We found a much better way for them to just do it. Let me show you. So let's say this is my client. I just had a meeting with them and I said, and I gave a proposal to the client. I moved them to, let's say proposal stage. And he's going to ask me to fill out all of these things. Main challenges, client revenue, client offer, why didn't they close, why they have improved, next steps. When I fill out these forms, this information, we receive a notification that like this closer, for example, this person moved this client with the name information and this to deal to this, in this case, to stage deal. The client's offer is X, the revenue is X. Uh, who set the meeting, the main challenges, why didn't you close? The client says, we'll pay tomorrow, for example. Uh, uh, next time improvements, what to do next, and next steps. And our manager doesn't need to ask. He just like reads through and he gets the pulse of what's happening in the meetings. Are they closing or not closing? This is amazing. And how do we do this? Very simple. As the stage is updated for a customer, we have a notification that goes to Slack, which shows this like update. That's it. Next one, this is very simple. So whenever I have a Zoom meeting, my recordings are automatically on the cloud, but I don't wanna go inside of Zoom to get them. So I have a, like an integration from Zapier that every time I had a, a meeting, a recording is sent to a specific Slack channel 
And the Slack channel is called Recordings. It's very simple. So all I have to do is just like open that channel. I have my calls. I have the passwords, the share link. I just do a copy, send them to the person. Whenever I have a client meeting, a client like request, just so simple. Don't need to log into Zoom, find the recordings, do all of this mumbo jumbo. This is like way quicker, way quicker. Next one, client activation point notification. So my team runs in this way that uh, whenever we have a new customer client, we have uh, activation points, which are like a simple word for what has happened for the client's journey. And we have them like three, we have three of them. And these are important because we kind of like keep track of them and we want our customers to go through them as uh, fast as possible, right? Uh, for example, it could be like, like plan, it could be like uh, first client, uh, like to reach some milestone, for example, right? Whenever this happens, uh, we get notifications that look like this. So activation point one, which client, who, who, was the, who is the manager, who set the client, who closed the client, and we celebrate these things with our team so that like our customer success team is delivering results, which our closers and setters actually brought in those customers, right? And this Zapier looks very simple, like updated deal stage in Pipedrive, send the Slack notification. We just like um, change some things in it, like like as you can see here, like the name, the the, the, the emojis, the, the bot name, like bot icon, so you can see rocket, so it looks like like nice. It's not like standard thing, okay? Yeah, I know my light is like turning off, on, turning off, on. So sorry for that. And lastly, whenever we have a new customer who's onboarded and our uh, sales team says, yes, this customer, everything done, they are a new customer. So that we have a notification for my team plus a client manager notification. And let me show you how that looks. So it looks like this. So we have a heart emoji. It says like new client and who's calling me because I want my, and my team, when they have reached them, they're going to put a checkbox and we know that, that that customer has been reached for our closers. The same thing deal closed was the client. Who's the closer? Who's the setter and the lead source and good job. Stay sharp. These notifications are cool because everybody knows like who sets it, who, who closed it. And it's like a nice small touch. That's it for this video. I know I'm like changing lights, which is very nice. So stay sharp and I see you in the next video.